Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today we're doing a how-to guide. We are installing an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti into this ASUS M32 AD desktop computer. I've previously reviewed this computer and a link to that review will be in the video description below along with several other links to other reviews. I've shown a video on how to install RAM in this as well as some performance videos and, and other stuff. So, how to install a graphics card. This is a great graphics card. This is a $100 gaming graphics card. Now it's a budget card, but it's a great card for this machine. It provides a ton of performance and I will have game performance videos coming out shortly after this video posts. I'll set this aside for the moment. The first thing we need to do is open up our machine. I've laid it on its side. All the cables are unplugged. The side with all the holes is the side we need to access. There are two screws on the side of the case that look just like this right up here near the edge. I've unscrewed those so that we can open the case. You pull on this little handle to the side only this far. When you see this metal strip over here, it's far enough. At this point, the cover just lifts straight off. That's all there is to it. And here's the inside of our computer. Now, briefly, this is our power supply up here. This takes our voltage from the wall from our 110 or 220 and converts it to what our machine needs. This is our hard drive right here, which is our one terabyte drive. That's where Windows and all your programs are stored. This is our DVD drive burner up here. This is, uh, it comes all the way to the front where you put CDs and DVDs in. This fan is covering our processor. Underneath here is the actual Intel chip of this computer. The actual processor under that fan is actually no bigger then your fingernail, but it's buried under a heat sink and a shroud and a bunch of other stuff. This is the graphics card slot we'll be installing the graphics card into today. This is our eight gigabytes of system RAM. This is where the programs actually run in. They're stored here, they run here. And then down here on the bottom, we have our AC Wi-Fi chip. This is actually what allows the computer to connect via wireless and not need to be physically connected. These two white wires here are the antenna, which actually run all the way to the top of the case. I love this machine. As I said, I've done a review on it. It's a great value for under $400. Put a video card in it and it actually makes a pretty good gaming machine. Now, I do want to show you something very important. If you look back here, you will see that there are two open spaces. The reason for that is I've already opened it up because I've already shot the gaming performance videos. This card has already been in here because I'm shooting this afterwards. If you buy this machine, that will probably not be open. Now, the only thing you need to do to open it, I'm going to lift this up so you can see. Do you see these two cross shapes? Phillips head screwdriver fits in there just fine. You don't want to shove too hard in this direction because you'll bend this metal case. What you want to do is provide just a little bit of twisting force and then come down this way and pop them out. They're connected here, here, and here. And if you're actually seeing this in person, it's, it's obvious. Depending on what you're watching this video on, it may not be. But they're actually not connected anywhere but in three very small points. What you're doing here is you're bending this way and you just have to pop those three. This is disposable. Once you take it off, it's never going to go back on again, so you're just going to chuck it out, which is why I can't put those two back in place, because I popped them off earlier. The other thing you need to do while we're back here is, do you see this one screw right here? All we have to do is unscrew this one screw, just like that, and this opens up just like that. That's all there is to it. And the reason, I'll tilt it down, this ledge is very important. Do you see the ledge right there on the graphics card? That's actually going to go on top of that ledge. Now that we've got that panel open, and of course once you've opened up those two points, it's very simple. On the motherboard, there is a single tab that simply needs to be pushed down. That is the PCI Express retention tab. It should usually pop up once you put a card in there. Depending on the card, not all cards last tab will trigger it. Some will, some won't. So, but do make sure it's pushed down to make sure that you can install the card correctly. The other thing is you can only put the card in one way. These are the golden fingers, or that's what I've always called them. Uh, that's what actually inserts into the slot. It can only go in this way. It can't go in this way or any other way. 
because these are your video ports that go through this first slot right here and this vent for airflow will cover the second slot. Just like system memory, which if you've watched my system memory install, it goes straight down, straight up. But because of this shelf, this ledge right here, you do have to offset this direction a bit as you come down and you may have to hold these cables out of the way slightly. Once you clear this edge of the computer, then you've got to go in this way to line this up with the slot. The other thing is, do you notice there's notches here? No, oh, no, I'm not in the frame. There we go. There's a notch here, notch here, and notch here. Take a look down here. Notch, notch, same thing. So I'm going to go straight down. And you'll notice that if you're not far enough back, this will contact. You've got to come back a bit, go down just a bit, and then go over to line it up with the slot. And it goes just like that. That just slid right in. There was no pressure there required whatsoever. Let me tilt this up so you can see it right there. See how that's installed in the slot? Let me show you something else. I'll lift this up. Do you see how this ledge here is now resting perfectly on this with that hole in the middle there and then this one here? And then if I lift this up further, we need to screw that back in. We can access our three video ports here and our ventilation port is right there. So I'm going to take my screw earlier. My magnetic bit will cooperate with me. So we screw this in place. We're done. That's all it takes to install an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. Make sure you have the two open slots available. Make sure your retention uh, plate here is unscrewed so you can access it. Insert it straight into the slot. Make sure it's all the way down and secure. You'll notice that our tab, I don't know if you can see that. The tab has popped up when I inserted the, the tab popped up when I inserted the card. All we do at this point is place our cover back in alignment here, slide it on. Sometimes it catches. There we go. Screw the two screws back on. Now, because this is a video card, we do have to install the NVIDIA drivers. Now, if you know how to do that or you're comfortable going to NVIDIA.com and downloading the drivers, then you don't have to watch anymore. But I will cut at this point and show the installation of those drivers here in just a minute at the end of the video. But for the moment, I would like to say, did you like the video? Be sure to click like. Did you not? That's okay too. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button right below the video. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions. Was this helpful to you? Was this not helpful to you? Um, was it too long? Was it too short? Do you want to see something different? You got to let me know what you think in the comments below the video because I can't read your mind. Now, as a further note, this computer that I've reviewed before, the video card, will both be linked in the description below. Those links take you to Amazon. Uh, this is a great machine. I highly recommend it. But I will tell you that my primary funding source for the video, for all of my videos, are those links. They are affiliate links. They pay me a small commission. It does not change your cost in any way, but it is my primary funding source for these videos. Without that money, I can't afford to keep doing all these fun videos for you. So if you like my channel, if you like my guides, my unboxings and overviews and performance views and how-to guides, then please use my links and I will be forever grateful to you. Now to those who would like to see the uh, NVIDIA Windows drivers installed, keep watching because that'll be coming up right now. And welcome back. Our computer is booted up, we are in Windows, and if you look closely at the screen, you'll notice it doesn't quite look right. And that is because the proper display driver is not installed for this video card. We've just installed a nice NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti card, but Windows doesn't know how to talk to it. Now, Windows will, given time and Windows update, will install a basic driver, which will allow Windows to talk to the card, but we didn't buy this nice video card to use a basic driver. We want to use the latest driver that has support for all the current games and is fully up to date. So the first thing you want to do once you boot into Windows with your new video card installed is you want to go to your favorite web browser. And in this case, I will open up Google Chrome. 
And we're simply going to type in NVIDI A drivers. And Google will take us to the right spot. Or Microsoft Edge or Firefox or whatever your preference is. Now, there is an option, too, for automatically find drivers for my NVIDIA products. If you don't know what you have, of course, that is an option. Now, we know what we have. We just installed it. So I'm going to choose GeForce 700 series, because that's what this is. And I'm going to choose 750Ti, because we know what that is. And we are on Windows 10 64-bit. And if you're running Windows 10, it is most likely 64-bit, unless you upgraded an older version of Windows that was 32. And you're going to hit search. Now, of course, if you're running Windows 8 or Windows 7, download those drivers installed. And it's updating. I'll bet you, yep. Windows just installed. I love the automatic function. Usually it works great. The reason the screen just changed is Windows automatically, while I was talking, downloaded and installed a basic driver for the card. But we don't care because we're going to use the NVIDIA one. I'm going to click the download button. And it comes up with user account control and says, do you wish to allow? Yes, I do, because I downloaded it. And normally, you can accept the defaults. This is where it uh, decompresses its files. I'll go ahead and close the web browser, because we no longer need it at this point. Both companies tend to release drivers eh, once a month, sometimes twi twice a month, give or take. Uh, but they can see you know, 15 different driver releases a year. Checking system compatibility. Of course, it's checking to make sure there is a, a GeForce graphics card installed, which there is because we just put one in. License agreement. Agree and continue. Express. There's no reason to choose advanced. I mean, if you're curious, click it. But frankly, I can't think of a single reason not to choose Express. I'll just trim this out, and we'll be back here when this is done with its progress. And we're back, and it's finished. That only took a couple of minutes, but hey, who wants to watch a progress bar? I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, click like. If you didn't, that's OK. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button right down there. Um, how to's, uh, unboxings, overviews, performance guides, and all kinds of fun videos. No charge to click on subscribe, and you'll get updates to future videos. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions. Did I show enough? Did I show too much? Did I talk too much? Did I not talk enough? Was this helpful to you? That's what the comment section below the video is for. You got to tell me what you think because I cannot read your mind. As I say in most of my videos, if you found this helpful, if this process was useful to you and you go, by gosh, I can do this myself. I've got a computer. It doesn't have to be an M32. Uh, AD. It could be a different machine. The process of installing this is pretty similar for most basic tower machines like this. Use the links in my video description below. They'll take you to Amazon. They'll take you to the video card. If you click on those links and buy them, I will certainly appreciate it because they are affiliate links. They do pay me a small commission. It does not affect your price in any way, but it does support my videos. If you like these videos and you want to see more of them, using those links is the best way to support me, and I certainly appreciate it if you are so inclined. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.